Hello, Pastor Daryl Price from the Living Church in San Bernardino, California. Uh, I don't didn't know what to title this video. Uh, this is another scripture short. Hopefully, I can get to the point. Um, so uh, I want to title this. I think, "Don't Shoot the Messenger." Now, trust me, I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner saved by the love of Jesus Christ, the grace, the, the sacrifice he did on the cross. But I've been pondering for since I was 18 years old this. And it's like God finally gave me clarity. And for me, it gave me clarity. And uh, it's not easy to uh, digest. It's not easy to accept. But here goes. Um, I hope this blesses you. I hope. You don't, you don't get mad. Please, like I said, don't shoot the messenger. This is the message I feel a lot of Christians need to hear. When Jesus died, he said, I have one commandment now. I've abolished the Old Testament and the Old Commandment, and I'm going to bring a new command, a new covenant. And that covenant is... To love your, the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and your neighbor as yourself. So a lot of people ask, why doesn't God hear me? Why isn't God answering my prayers? Or why is all this happening in the world? And I really believe it's this simple, but tough as well. If we're not seeking first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and loving the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, forgiving those who trespass against you, loving your neighbor as yourself, taking up your cross daily and following him, acknowledging him in all your ways and he will direct your path straight. If we're not doing these things, why would we expect God to be answering our prayers? I just, trust me, I am worse than Paul. I am the sinner of all sinners. I, I don't even want to tell you my life. I don't want to tell you my history. Maybe you'll relate to it, but we've all done it. We've all sinned and come short of the glory of God. But it's taken me 20 years to actually accept that part and then start doing these videos. So if we're not seeking first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, loving our neighbor as ourself, loving God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength, ask, seek, and knocking, taking up our cross daily, daily, our cross, bearing what Jesus bared for us daily, and walking by faith, not by sight, and then we're expecting... I know some of you are going to say, but it's the grace of God. Grace covers all. It does. But it's a condition on our part. God doesn't push himself on you. It's free will. He wants you to freely choose these are the things he asks us to do. Are we seeking? Are we loving? Are we forgiving? Those who trespass, do we love our neighbor? Do we care for our neighbor, our sick, our poor? None of us are doing that, probably. But it's a good start, right? I know it's tough. I beg you, Father God, forgive us, for we know not what we do. Ponder on this for a while. In the name of Jesus, please have a great day.